the gripping family drama series, The Fosters, our first guest plays Steph, a loving mother of five teens and a dedicated police detective who will do anything to protect her children. In next week's season premiere, she races to rescue her daughter from a sex trafficking ring. Take a look. Yeah, I heard. Thank you, Margo. Where are you? Uh, I'm on the 15, headed south. Do you need your head for the border? God, I hope not. Just, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm following this stupid app. Don't worry. We'll find her. Just stay with them. They can't drive forever. Margo, Margo, listen to me. The car is getting off the highway. It looks like they're heading into Logan Heights. Okay, I'm a few minutes behind you. I'll be there as soon as I can. Please welcome Terry Polo. Girl, I was Kristen Larson, and I was trying to, I was trying to bed Luke Wilson. Oh well, yeah. yeah. another oh, Wilson. Oh, that's nice. another one. Oh, Luke Perry. The other Luke. Yeah, that was a, a half hour, mm -hmm. a half hour yeah. um, soap opera yeah. that um, I was on the little summer show, and I learned that's a lot cool, on that though. show. Well, I want to know. Okay, so you landed a Things ton of Robert De Niro roles with Meet the Parents. Yeah. How does it feel just landing all of those roles and being such an icon with the Meet the Parents? I mean, it's it's one of my favorites. Yes. Oh, thanks. Yes. You know, we had no idea that it was going to be such a big movie. We shot it and we had so much <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah. It's such a quotable movie also. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's relatable right. too. Everybody, you yeah. know, has been it's to some degree in that situation where you're meeting the the the, the in-laws or the yep. soon-to-be in-laws and the parents, and you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, no, that it was. I was. I, I've, I'm often asked about the um, the uh, the screen test. You know, when I, I it was Halloween, and um, I got a phone call about 5:30 in the in the evening and said they want you to fly to New York to screen test with Robert De Niro and Ben Stiller, and I'm like. The first time I was ever speechless. Oh. It's <laughs> not easy. But it, I mean, it, you know, it was it was cool. And then you did a movie. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So Terry, you once received a compliment from another legendary actress, Meryl Streep, in this movie yeah. that you did that is one of my favorites, The House of Spirits. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So what did she say to you? <laughs> she said, "You're fabulous. You're amazing." <laughs> no, um, I I play a, a character that's um, supposed to be marrying Jeremy Irons. Okay. And during the course of the film, she gets she's poisoned and she dies. And now Meryl's daughter Grace played hold with her, played Meryl as a young girl who is my younger sister. And I had to do a scene with Grace, who is now a, a wonderful actress of her own right now. Um, um, Grace had to come in and find me dead. And also Jeremy Irons at the funeral, Jeremy Irons comes and cries all over me. That was a tough day. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy Irons just cried all over my face and kissed me. That was awful. <laughs> yeah, can we do it again? Um, can we do it again? Terrible. <laughs> and, uh, and so I wasn't supposed to breathe. And she said, we went to a dinner one night. Now, I'm 19 years old, and I'm at dinner with Meryl Streep, Glenn Close, Jeremy Irons, wow. Vanessa Redgrave, wow. and then there's me. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and she said, Terry, I saw dailies today with, uh, with Gracie, and you were lying there, and you were dead. And then Jeremy Irons, Lord knows how long it was going to take him to cry all over you. you know? <laughs> and uh, how did you do that? Wow. <laughs> it's like, Wow. Let me give you a little trick of the trade, Meryl, because you've got a big career ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use this in your future films, um, which I won't give away. Oh, give away. oh I wouldn't. We're, we're on the commercial break. I'm going to <laughs> drill you. Yeah. 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 Y
I can make tricking dudes and believe it, I'm dead. <laughs> on your hit show, The Fosters, your character yes. uh, and your and your wife on the show are raising five teenage daughters. So, well, and, yeah, exactly. Well, you're all going through these struggles, difficult times. Where does the new season premiere? Um, uh, I, it's actually takes. five teenagers. Period. There's, I think we have how many daughters do we have? Anybody mm. know? <laughs> Two daughters and three boys. Is that what I have? Uh, <laughs> I mean, some of them you can say they're kind of you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. With their with their emotional outbursts. Uh -huh. um, it, it, of course, in true Foster fashion, it picks up the exact second that we left off the last season. Okay. Okay. And um, I am uh, trying to save Callie, whom, of course, has made yet another fantastic decision. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> I'm chasing a little... Well, you saw in the, in, in the cop car, trying to um, uh, save her from sex trafficking. She's, she's tried to help a friend and has ended up in this horrible situation. So, oh, yeah. so that's what I'm doing. You know, yeah. just everyday stuff. Yeah. 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 So... I just want to hear you and your co-star Sherry Shaw have incredible chemistry together. Yeah. Was that instant? Pretty much. I mean, take a look at her. She's <laughs> pretty fabulous. <laughs> um, yeah, she's 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 going to be a friend for the rest of my life. Aww. That's how close yeah. we are. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Well, Terry Polo, thank you so much for being here. Season five of The Fosters premieres Tuesday, July 11th at 8 p.m. on Freeform, and we will be right back.